Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the, the, the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be a daily forecast for Thursday, November 19, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want to our signal service, then you're welcome to join us over at Patreon or uh, get access to our full technical analysis for the uh, commodities market. Or if you want to see our live trades, that is also possible by joining us over at Patreon. But we'll have a look at Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has rallied significantly today, all the way up to 18,000, near 18,500 nearly, and then pulled back quite significantly. But I don't think we're going to stop here. When we have uh, been this parabolical, we are most likely going to retest these previous highs here back in 2017. So remember Bitcoin was, well, fairly unknown for several, several years. We can see it all the way here. Nothing really happened in Bitcoin until we got to uh, 2016, 2016, 2017, and then Bitcoin absolutely exploded to the upside. So a lot of people got really rich investing in Bitcoin down here, holding it all the way up to 20,000 before it basically collapsed all the way down to 3,200. So we are not seeing the same move like this. Like moves like this just can't continue forever. Um, but this is a very impressive move. We have gone from 3,800 all the way up to 18,000 and nearly 500. We have a pullback, but this is the weekly chart, and these um, technical gears are still not looking really bad. They are looking very bullish, and even though we are at the uh, 84 in the in the in the RSI, this is probably a market that is going to test these previous highs. There will be a lot of traders that will come in around this area and buy this down towards all the way probably to the 50 moving average probably also the 20 uh, 20 moving average um if it's going to be end no it's not definitely not this um, everybody thought that then this was going to be a dead uh, cryptocurrency when we were over here but just see what happened this is going to most likely test these previous highs it's going to be a lot of selling and that it will collapse to the 50 moving average, maybe. Um, we could also look at the Fibonacci retracements. We have it here and all the way up to the 20,000 if we get there. We can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is here at the 13,900. The second here of 50 is at 12,000. And that is my best guess where we're going to fall if we get all the way up to 20. That is around back to 20,000. So we see something similar to this falling back down towards uh, 12,000. And that will take, well, a fairly amount of uh, several months, actually several weeks in order to get back down to that level. So that is a possible scenario that is going to happen. It's just going to be a repeat of what basically happened here because this is significantly overbought at this point. And when we get to this area and to 20,000, this RSI will be up probably around 20, 90, 93 uh, or something like that. Here we were, when we were the highest, we were at around 90 so or 89. So this is to be seen. This is definitely a market that you should, buying, should be buying at this moment. Um, but it will probably build, be a, a probable sell if we get, close to 20,000. So uh, pay attention to Bitcoin. It's a fairly um, significant and exciting market. So look at Ethereum. We can see that we um, tested these uh, previous highs and then pulled back quite significantly. At this point, I think that we are going to turn around, uh, probably test uh, 435 uh, before heading back towards the 50 moving average. And then we'll have the necessary momentum probably to take out these um, these you know, these highs again. Um, that is most likely what is going to happen here. Uh, we have been to 
much higher levels all the way up to 1890 and also here 1819. So we are basically in the mid range here and this market is in a, in a bullish run. We just need to get a necessary momentum in order to take out this, uh, these previous highs and then will go significantly higher. But a pullback towards the 50 would be definitely interesting in order to buy this and just hold it as long as probably possible. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button. And um, if you want our service over Patreon, the link is down below. You can join us to see our full technical analysis for the commodities market and get our signal service and also join us on live trading. So good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.